Hey, this is Scott over at The Versal Guitarist. In this series of videos, we're doing improvisation loops where we talk about some of the theory of a popular song and how you can play it with graphics on the screen, highlighting certain scales and arpeggios to help you along. Today, we're looking at Wicked Game, the song by Chris Isaac, this awesome old tune. And what's great about this, as far as improvisation goes, is it's the same chord progression over and over and over and over. There's no bridge or different sections. So we can take this song, this improvisation loop here, or the actual recording of it and practice our improvisation with the original recording. Let's look at what the chords are here. We have a B minor chord, then an A major, and then an E major chord, but the E happens twice. So you might think that because it starts on B minor that we're in the key of B minor, but B minor has two sharps in it, and one of those sharps is not G sharp. So we have kind of a, something weird happening here. So we would expect to be seeing an E minor chord, not an E major chord. That would sound like this. That's definitely not what the song is doing. So the fact that we have an E major chord in here and it's happening twice, that tells us, that gives us a clue at least that that is the tone center in the song. So it's really in E, but it's an E mixolydian. It's a modal progression. So we're, this chord is the five chord, but it's minor. And then here's the four chord and it's going to the one there at the end. So what we're going to use to improvise over this is the E mixolydian scale. And if you don't know what that is, it's really just the A major scale. So that's the beauty of knowing the major scale and how the modes work. The mode idea can be really complicated, but if you know how to trace it back to the parent scale, that's all you're doing is, in this case, playing notes from A major. But we want to land on notes that are in the chord, and you'll see that highlighted on the screen as each chord changes to help you along. The rhythm of the song is like a rumba or a bolero. That doesn't matter to you right now because you're just improvising, but it would sound like this, the rhythm. It's very subtle in the recording. One, two, three, four. So over the B minor chord, you, of course you can play a B minor arpeggio, but the scale would be a major, or to be more specific, E mixolydian. Here's our A chord. We can play an A major arpeggio. And you're gonna see those highlighted on the screen. The underlying notes of the scale, though, would be. But we wanna land on notes not in the A major scale in terms of landing on the root of A, unless it's the actual A chord. We want to play notes of A major which is E mixolydian, but landing on notes in our arpeggio. So that's the value of seeing our arpeggio shapes. So work on playing the A major scale all over the neck. It's E mixolydian, but you can still just think of it as A major. After that, work on your arpeggios for B minor, A major, and an E major. And then what we're trying to do is to combine those together to see the overall map of the scales and use our arpeggios as landing points. So if I'm imagining the chords right now and I'm improvising, here's B minor, I would play some notes from the scale and land on a note in the chord. That D note is in that chord. And I'm not literally thinking I'm playing a D right now. I'm just seeing it in the scale shape. And then here comes an A chord. Might go up to that note because I know that it's in that chord. I can see it in my scale pattern. Here comes E. Landing on G sharp because that's part of the chord. So here's the loop and let's practice playing E mixolydian over Wicked Game. 